Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. What internet service was available at your time? That was the question that was asked on LockerGnome.net, and I don't exactly know what your time would be, so I'm kind of guessing. Uh, I got online for the first time, and maybe that's really the question, at uh, the University of Northern Iowa, and I had a very fast connection to the internet. Man, boom, it was right there. It was fast. Granted, we really couldn't do a lot back then. Didn't even have graphics there on the screen. You'd have to download them and open them up in a viewer to see them. We didn't have web pages when I got online for the first time. We had text. I was online before the first spam went out. That's that's how, that's how long I've been online. Uh, but by and large, if I wasn't in a computer lab, which is where we had to go to get online at the university, uh, I... I got a computer eventually and had a modem installed in the computer. I had had one. Actually, no. I think the first modem I had was an external. It was like a, a 14.4 Sportster, a U.S. Robotics Sportster modem uh, that connected by way of a parallel port <laughs> on my computer. That's what I used the parallel port for, for an external modem. And it worked just fine. Granted, I could only connect to a modem bank that supported connection speeds up to 9600 baud if I was lucky. Uh, but sometimes I got connected at 2400 baud, even with a 14.4 modem. So, uh... Still, uh, it wasn't very fast. Uh, I enjoyed it. I uh, installed a 2400 baud modem in my father's computer at home. He had a, a, I think his was a, like a 386 uh, computer <laughs> way back in the day. And I remember when I was trying to get it to work, installing it. And this is what, when I was first learning about how to put things together, not being hip to electronics, it was more on the software side of things. I had booted up the computer. But I rested one of the components on the, the, the metal part of the case and ended up seeing smoke wafting up from a component. <laughs> you got to remember, A, computers weren't cheap. B, my dad could have beat the little shit out of me. So he probably still could. Uh, <laughs> boy, my heart, I tell you what, my heart, uh, it just dropped. I'm like, oh my God, I just killed the computer. Because he didn't even want the modem. He didn't even know about it. And when he did find out, I, did the mo I didn't tell him about the smoking computer part. But when he found out that I, I had the modem in there, he freaked out. And I think I covered this in an earlier video. He, he, did, he, he was afraid viruses were just going to tra transfer over the phone line and into the computer. Like, Dad, you're not connected to anything. Well, the phone line's still connected. You should disconnect it. N nothing's going to happen to it. No, it needs to be disconnected. So, okay. No, you got to unplug the computer, too. Well... Dad, the computer's not on. But it should be unplugged. Nothing should go into it. I knew enough that it's just not how viruses really work. That didn't stop me from downloading things to my parents' computer. Uh, I didn't really download a lot, but I, I, you know, I guess I was rolling the dice back then. I mean, I downloaded a lot from BBSs. Uh, and then uh, the first time I paid for an ISP, it was 1995. I was outside of the university, uh, away from home. I was student teaching in San Antonio, Texas. And this is where I picked up y'all. That's when I started saying it. The ISP that, that was available, $30 a, no, $50 a month for like, I think, 30 hours. Yeah, it was 30 hours, but it was something outrageous in price. It was like $50 or $100 in, in cost. Or it, was just, it was a lot of money, especially for back then. But I could only spend... 30 hours online for the entire month. There's some days I spend 30 hours online and there's only 24 hours in a day because I'm connected on every other de every device that I have around me. Uh, so uh, yeah, I, I think $50 for 30 hours seems about right, but it was expensive. God, it was ungodly expensive for the month. Oh, so what I did was I, I worked with other people who were student teaching as well. And I said, well, would you also like to get online with this account? We can share it if you also share the cost. So I ended up, they didn't use it a lot. I used it a lot more. And uh, and so I ended up, you know, getting 30 hours worth and didn't have to spend as much as, as I would have had to spend. So it was expensive when I first got online if I wasn't at the university level. Uh, but, you know, it was fun. You know, I got I to gotta tell you, I, I would not have traded that for anything. I gained a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge, like what not to do when you boot up your computer <laughs> when it's wide open. <laughs> Uh, that's what I learned a lot about. And I've, 
lots. I mean, we all have to start somewhere. Shut up. I know they're talking smack. So what about you? What internet services was available? What internet service was available at your time? I was reading the question again from uh, LockerDome.net. Feel free to answer the question. You've got my answer to the question. What about yours? We'll see you later.